It's going to show the pressure it takes to push in this shock shaft with a set of bathroom scales. Um, this is with the original seal head in its original position, so this is as the shaft, as the shock would be standard. And then I'm going to show it a little bit later on with the spacer. So the pressure to push the shaft into the shock will go slow, not slowish. We've got about 30 kilos to full compression. I'm sure if you can see full, that full compression there. So let's try and yeah, you can just see, you'll see the bump stop when it, when it touches the shock. Uh, that was 30 kilos and I'm going to push it as fast as I can. I've got 45 to 50 kilos there and uh, we'll do it again later when it's got the spacer in it. Okay, we installed the spacer and then we're going to do the pressure test of the scale. As you can see, two part spacer installed in there. Once again, a slow pressure. We're about 35 kilos there, and a uh, you know, fairly fast pressure. Okay, so 45 to 50 which is just about what we had when it had this when this before the spacer was in there it might be a couple of kilos difference so i think that proves that installing this spacer and increasing the slight pressure in the nitrogen here is not something that you're likely to feel um, a couple of kilos on the on the pressure to push the shaft into the shock um, in fact, on the on the hard one, the fast one, I think I only got to the same 45 to 50 um, without the spacer installed. Uh, I think this is clear information anyway. Thank you.